With the advent of two very different shoes in the last 10 years, the minimal shoe and the maximal shoe, it's hard not to want to look at what, what's happening with these new shoes. Because 15 years ago, we were looking at very similar shoes. And now these are dramatically different. I'm Christine Pollard. I'm an associate professor in kinesiology, and I'm the director of the Force Laboratory. So the study, we're looking at maximal shoes and trying to understand biomechanically how are they influencing running mechanics. By looking at that, we can get a sense of who are they appropriate for and are they reducing the risk of injury in certain individuals. We brought in a group of runners and we had them run in this maximal running shoe. The two variables that we look at are loading rate and impact peak. So this is the force going up and down. We look at what those forces are and, and how high they are. And what we found is we thought this highly cushioned shoe would actually reduce those forces that have been associated with injury. But in fact, what we found is when a runner that's never run in the shoe before puts it on right out of the box, that those forces go up. And so that would be suggestive of increased risk of injury when they're wearing these maximal shoes. Anecdotally, it appeared that these runners were getting this very highly cushioned shoe, and when they're running through the lab, maybe they were relying on the shoe a little more than they typically would. So our next study that we're conducting now is actually looking at these shoes, they, they run in them right out of the box, and then they go home and they train in them for six weeks, and then we're bringing them back right now and testing to see what are their running mechanics after they've gotten used to this new maximal shoe, and does it in fact reduce uh, that loading rate and reduce those variables that we know will put them at risk of injury. And so those results are coming out soon. Every runner has individual characteristics, individual biomechanics, and based on our evaluation of that runner, we can prescribe a shoe. But no, there's not one golden shoe that fits every foot of a runner.